Marie Smith of Rising River Media has served our communities in many ways. Among other things, he is a videographer who shares his visions from the front line of faithful response to people experiencing homelessness, as seen in the documentary, My Road Leads Home. Again, by thanking Mary and the entire Fig Tree staff for inviting me to be with you today. And not only that, but I did a quick Google search on the fig tree and discovered myself in over a dozen articles, and I'm getting wow. <laughs> I've been involved in homeless services for about 18 years. Um, run over, I've, I've helped run four different shelters and um, founded Feed Spokane, a food rescue agency, um, back in the early 2000s. And then um, five years ago, almost six years ago now, um, started doing documentaries on, as a community producer for community-minded television on the issue of homelessness in greater Spokane. And then from September of 2022 until June of 2023, I worked alongside uh, Julie Garcia. At, uh, I was a day manager at Camp Hope, um, working alongside uh, Julie. And I decided to write a book about Camp Hope, which uh, uh, this is a quick free advertising, sorry, Mary, uh, <laughs> entitled A Place to Exist, The True and Untold Story of Camp Hope and Homelessness in Spokane. And as I was writing that book, I had this crazy idea of asking uh, Lisa Brown, who was then not mayor, uh, she had just left Commerce. And I approached her and I said, um, how would you like to write a chapter in my upcoming book on your work at the Department of Commerce um, about everything you did behind the scenes to bring $25 million to Spokane for the purpose of addressing homelessness and specifically Camp Hope. Um, I said, Lisa, you and I are never going to agree on everything, but I believe in finding common ground. We as a community, need more common ground because we've become very contentious and divisive in the way we do everything. And we need to find common ground. The process of finding common ground where we can work together to meaningfully address community issues represents a critical part of what I call building the shalom. I was tickled to hear Mary talk about Shalom being one of the goals and one of the, the, the purposes of the fig tree. Um, that's not just peace, it's the wholeness, the restoration, the well-being of everyone in our community, with my focus being, of course, on the homeless. And I've intentionally made building the Shalom of the homeless a theme that runs through all of my documentary work. So it, 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 it's a constant theme for me, and it was something that I, I decided at the very outset, we needed to, to not just show a better optic about people experiencing homelessness, we needed to tell a different story, a better narrative, and then thirdly, we needed to set a better tone. This is not us against them. This is us working together to build the shalom of everyone in our community, including the homeless. Well, shalom is, well, isn't my original thought. Of course, those of you who are uh, biblic up, biblically inclined know that it's the words of Jesus in Matthew chapter 5 about blessed are the peacemakers. And while that makes for a good Greek and decent English, but it's not thorough Hebrew, the Hebrew word shalom, uh, that's Jesus didn't speak English. I'm sorry about that. Um, he didn't speak Greek. Um, he spoke Aramaic, which is a derivative of Hebrew. And what people at the Sermon on the Mount, which is where that passage is found, what they heard on that day was, blessed are the shalom makers. You want to find a meaningful purpose in life as a Christian. I believe that your highest calling is to be a shalom maker. I see the work of the fig tree in our community as finding common ground and building the shalom of our community. That's why I support it. That's why I'm blessed and encouraged when they choose to include me or a story about me or around me or whatever. I go, if that contributes to us as a community, as a faith community, finding common ground and building shalom, then I'm all in. Thank you for including me. One example of um, what the fig tree does 
going back to homelessness, on your table there, for those of you who are new to this, you'll find a resource directory. These are absolute gold, by the way. Absolute gold. And I would dare say that every homeless service provider in our city has a copy of the Fig Tree Resource Directory somewhere in their desk or on their desk or within reach. And I know the Fig Tree graciously donates hundreds of copies to the Spokane Homeless Coalition, where I've served on the leadership team in the past, not currently, but in the past I have, and the Spokane Homeless Connect, where I'm on the planning committee. We look forward to these. By the way, this next year, I think we're simply going to give you the head count of how many vendors. I want to see to it there is one of these on every vendor table at the Homeless Connect next January. Why? Because it is an essential resource. And I want to basically end with this. You and I both know two things are not free. The lunch that you just ate and publishing resource directories. The lunch was wonderful, thank you. The resource directory is even better. Can't eat it, but we consume it on a regular basis looking for resources. And so I would encourage all of us today to think about what we can do to support the fig tree and to see two of these amazing common ground and shalom building activities move forward for whatever the foreseeable future is we need the fig tree, and I want to thank you for allowing me to share with you for just a few minutes.